is all about the choices you make. What's for breakfast, eggs or pancakes? Should you take the elevator or the stairs? For me, there's only one choice right now. Blink once for yes, twice for no. But for everyone else, things have a way of getting very complicated very quickly. And suddenly, all those tiny, insignificant choices you made add up to, how did I get here? Or here. Or here. And especially here. So how did they? Funny you should ask. It all started 24 short hours ago. And this is from my cousin in El Segundo. Ah, Manuel Ruiz. He said I can live with him after I leave the hospital. His wife's family owns a car dealership, so I can help around the office after school. It's not a lot of money, but I listed it on the income and expense declaration. I also have proof of enrollment at a nearby high school. Nice touch. Judges like to see that emancipated minors still take their education seriously. And now that we've got the completed application, your mother's consent, all we need is the filing fee. There's a filing fee? Yeah, they bury it in the fine print. There it is, $395. You can file a petition with the judge to waive it, but if you do, they usually take it as a sign that you're not ready for adulthood. <laughs> because I don't have $400 lying around? I know, right? Good thing I'm not trying to get emancipated. I'd be totally screwed. <sighs> All right, people, listen up. Got a new game plan for today. Emma, Dr. Samuels moved your appointment up to 10. Leo, you're leaving straight from here and going to PT. Everybody else is going to stay in this classroom and try to learn something. Most importantly, I want everyone to steer clear of Charlie's room. Dr. Nade is going to be in there doing some very important work. Um, excuse me, where am I supposed to go for my quiet repose? That's my room, too. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, which reminds me. He'll be wearing this today. So, key word for today is quiet. You get that, people? Quiet. Get your hands off my foot! Oh, my God, is that Delaney Shaw? This is America, is it? I still have my room! Don't I? Oh, somebody remediate the Oh, my God, it is her. You know she just came out with her own clothing line? She needs one. Her music sucks. Oh, she's not that terrible. She's just, uh... Over? She needs to be over me. On what planet do you have a shot of Delaney Shaw? Planet Hospital, where the composition is drastically reduced. Plus, that girl is a hot mess. She'll hook up with anybody. You gotta love that in a woman. Is that Delaney Shaw? Yo, chill, man. I just called shotgun. She's a person, not a car. All right, all right, all right. Are we done? You two, therapy. Everybody else, education and quiet. Go! Go! Yo, man. Capiche? You got an understanding? Yeah, she's all yours. Uh, hi, is your name Debbie? Oh my god, aren't you? Never mind, I think Debbie's Asian. Um, do you have any cigarettes? Uh, I do not, and I'm sure you understand that there's oh no smoking. God. What is this? This is the saddest dress I've ever seen. It looks like a giant doily. Kenji? There you are. What happened to waiting for me in your room? Did I say I was going to do that? Hmm. Doesn't sound like me. Oh. Unless I'm getting the cute doctor. In that case, lead the way. You're getting me. And a blood draw. And if you're good, possibly a chest x-ray. Lace. Lace makes people think of doilies. Don't listen to Queen crazy. That dress is gonna kill on your date tonight. You got a date tonight? Yeah. First one since the big breakup. 89% compatibility, though, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really an online kind of gal, but gotta get out there, as they say. And how else are you gonna meet that special someone? Yeah. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. Dr. Grace. Oh, Dr. McAndrew. Nice tie. Oh, well, thank you very much. Is that the lady Shaw? What do we uh, owe that pleasure? Oh, she's exhausted. The poor girl is just exhausted. Do you know how hard it is to be a teen pop star? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Neither do I, thank God. Hey, how is our hemp wearing friend, Dr. Nade? Uh, he's good. He actually uh, set up Charlie's computer interface, so by the end of the day, the kid should be talking out the storm. Hopefully, the device is just a temporary stopgap, so he's talking on his own. That's great news. I know. 
It was a bit of a rocky start, but mutual respect, right? It's yeah. teamwork. Absolutely. I respect him. He respects me. No, actually, I, I meant with us. You and me. No, what do, you, what do you mean with us? Look at us. We're sort of the textbook example of why you're not supposed to get involved with a colleague. Because when it ends, you still have to see them every day, and it's all right there on the surface. All the history, all the bad feelings. I do recall some good feelings. <laughs> you're yeah. right. You're right. No. I missed you, Adam. <laughs> I'm glad this is all going so well. Up. It sounds like some kind of bat signal to Nurse Jackson. Heart monitor. Oh, yeah, same thing. Heart monitor. Pulmonary embolism. Oh. Aortic aneurysm. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, can a person get a little privacy around here? Not when she takes off her heart monitor. What, you mean it goes off even when I'm not connected to it? Like a smoke alarm that needs new batteries. Hunter, I need to speak with Kara for a moment in private. Take your shirt on. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, Kara. Is that really how you want to conduct yourself? Oh, my God. What are you, part of some weird religious order? Yes, this is exactly how I want to conduct myself. Even if it ends with you getting hurt? Well, if I'm going to have a heart attack and die, it may as well be during sex. That's not what I meant. OK, fine. Whatever. I'll take a vow of chastity. You happy? Listen, I know you don't want to hear this. But you and Hunter, you should not be. It's for your own good. I swear I've never felt better. And your journal? You stopped writing down your food intake. Not completely, but it's not as intense as it used to be. Like, the other day, a bunch of us went out and we ate all this junk food. You know, chips and hot dogs and everything. And you participated? It's been easier to participate lately. And after you ate with everybody, how'd that make you feel? I felt really strong. <clears throat> Nobody's body is perfect. Three more, you got this. You know, that's not the point. Our bodies are meant to function. Walking, lifting, <clears throat> moving us through the world. That is what our bodies are actually for. And I am beginning to understand that it's not to be thin or to look a certain way. The most important thing is to be healthy and to listen to your body. And when you have a setback? <clears throat> Good, if you're gonna fall, that's how you do it. What do you mean by setback? Emma, when you first got here, you thought that if you ate something bad, you were bad. You were a failure. You thought you were doomed. Yes, and I have learned that that's not true. Food is not the enemy. It is a vital part of life, and we need it to stay alive. Do you think you can sustain that kind of thinking if you were home? Home? Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're joking, right? You're saying I could actually go home early. Well, there's a process. You gotta talk to the doctors, get their input, but you've been cancer-free for eight weeks now, and you're at least a week ahead of where I thought you'd be with the prosthetic. It's just, uh, it's, it's kind of impossible to believe, you know, that I'm actually well enough to go home. Emma, the numbers don't lie. Your body temperature is almost normal at 98.1. Your daytime heart rate is in the 60s, and you're just half a pound away from your goal weight. It's pretty impressive for a young lady who walked in here at 93 pounds. I have to run it by the rest of the staff, of course, but... But if they agree... Maybe pack in your bags. How's that make you feel, Emma? Great. <laughs> it makes me feel great. They try to sell me all these dreams, but love is really all I need. I don't know what they're fussing about. I don't care what they're talking about. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I don't know what they're waiting for. Do you see what I'm saying?
to you. Oh, come on. I mean, give him a break. Boys his age, they need, they need practice with girls. Mm. Some of them still need it in their 30s. Even past the point where they're old and gray. Prematurely gray. Point taken. Listen, I, I know I don't have the best track record when it comes to women, but guess what? I'm ready to make a change. I have no idea where this is going, but it can't possibly be good. I'm thinking about getting back together with Aaron. Does stupidity run in your family? Take that as your blessing. Do you realize by the end of the week, we could both be back home, sleeping in our own beds, getting our real lives back? I know. It's all happening so quickly. You're not psyched? No, I am. I'm just so processing. And I don't want to get my hopes up in case there's a chance that I don't get out. So. You will. We both will. You have a crystal ball? I have a diluted sense of confidence. My physical therapist says it's a secret to my success. Hey, you okay? Yes. Really? What aren't you telling me? Nothing. Oh, my God. Emma, we're not going to break up when we get out of here. But I mean, it could happen. No, it won't. It's really not that far from L.A. to Bakersfield. You know, we're going to figure it out. I promise. Jackson needs a heartbeat. She can have this one. And this will buy us how much time? As much as you need. Sure hope old man River can keep a secret. Wait. You brought a condom, right? I'm all over it. Your uh, healthy choices. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are those anchovies? High in omega threes. So you've been lying to me about your pizza preference this whole time? <laughs> I started eating them in Africa. Sardines, actually, but you know, same thing. My mom was worried I wasn't getting enough protein, so she would send me these monthly care packages, and they travel well because you know they're packed like. Like sardines. Sardine. That's very funny, Aaron. There you are. I accidentally took your keys this oh, morning. Oh, hi. Hi. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to cut in line. Oh. Um, Sam, Adam. Adam, Sam. Uh, nice, nice to meet you. Did you hold a handshake? Adam is a work colleague. We went to med school together, and he's one of the best pediatric surgeons in the country. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> Sam and I met in Senegal. He works for the IRC on clean water issues. Also impressive. You live here now? In L.A.? I'm, uh, thinking about it. I'm staying with Aaron in between gigs, but it certainly feels like a place I can get used to. <laughs> well, that's great. Excuse me. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I have rounds, and, uh, um, I'll leave you this for the banana. Thank you. Um, nice to meet you. Get out! Everyone, get out! Get out! Go! Go! Let's go! Except you. Come here. Why don't I know you? Well, I'm Dash Hosni, uh, Ocean Park Hospitality Liaison. And if I may say, up close and personal like this, you do not look exhausted at all. You look damn fine. So, what are you in for? Well, uh, I have a, a non-contagious yet life-threatening disease. So, you're dying? And even worse, I'm dying without ever fully experiencing the rapture that comes from having sex with one of people's most beautiful people. <laughs> okay, I am not about to waste my bejazzling on the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Is that a yes or a no? I haven't decided yet. Take off your shirt. Let me see the goods. Oh, 
Excuse me, Miss Shaw? Nobody's home right now. Can you come back later, please? Uh, my name is Jordi Palacios. I was wondering if you'd be comfortable introducing me to your manager, Brian Cavanaugh. I'm a singer-songwriter. Are you dying, too? I am pretty full of cancer at the moment. Fascinating. Let me think about this for a moment. Okay. I will give you 10 minutes with my manager. Seriously? For 10 painkillers. Painkillers? Painkillers, yes. Muscle relaxers, serotonin inhibitors. I'm really not picky, so. No, it's not that. It's just they don't give me that. They only give it to you when you really need it. Oh, well, I really need it. And you really need 10 minutes with my manager. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'm tired now. You boys can go. <laughs> what about the... Night, night. Managers out there. I know I can blow this guy away. Too bad it's illegal to sell pharmaceuticals. You and Leo get people drugs all the time. Medical marijuana is a different story. You know what I'm saying I'm not messing around with no scripts. Look, Jordy, I know you want to be a singer and all. No, I, I don't want to be a singer. I need to be a singer. This could solve all my problems. This is my way in. The music has always been my dream, and now I just happen to be in the same hospital with one of the biggest pop stars in the world. I don't think that's an accident, Jordy. No, uh, maybe. That's the reason I got cancer in the first place. So my dream could finally come true. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, hi. Careful. I think that's decaf. Is something wrong? What could possibly be wrong? Your tone, your tone is definitely implying that something's wrong. I mean, wrong. admittedly, it's not as, as sweet as I miss you, Adam, and then touching my arm. I never touched your arm. Yeah, you did. And then you blindsided me with uh, Yosemite Sam. I did not. I mean, parading your new boyfriend in front of your old boyfriend just to make him jealous, that's, uh, it seems beneath you. Wow. I'm surprised. But maybe I shouldn't be, because this is you, the real you, childish, completely full of yourself. What does that mean? It means that you broke up with me. Do you remember that? Does that ring any bells for you? And it took me an entire year to get over you, a year of living in Africa, in famine and disease. And now, I'm supposed to feel bad about moving on? Come on. I mean, you are really good at working with kids, but it's because you don't want to grow up. And you don't want to be committed to anybody or anything. I, I don't want to be committed? No. Um, who's the one that went to Africa? I'm, I'm still here. I haven't left. What was I supposed to do, pack up all my stuff and go with you? Yeah, because no guy would ever do that. Oh, Instead, don't. I need to give up on my dreams for the incredible honor of being in a relationship with you on Facebook three years. Three years we were together and not one time did you ever mention marriage. Which, by the way, it's totally fine with me because... It's just not who you are, is it? Lesson learned. What you're witnessing here is a heist. Step one, look for an easy mark. Nope, kid's got a bodyguard. Miss Rifkin, that's really coming along. Oh, hey, kiddo. Crazy, huh? I told my daughter I'd quit crocheting when the cancer quits me, <laughs> or I croak. Next, earn the Mark's trust. How are the grandkids? Wasn't little Sally about to lose a tooth? Oh, aren't you sweet for always asking? Be a dear and grab my phone. I've got another picture in there. Step three, execute the plan. Jordy, what are you doing here? I'm uh, getting chemo? You're done with your first round. Your second round's not scheduled till next week. Oh, thought it was today. Must be my chemo brain. All right, let's get this. 
Bye, Mr. Kim. Bye, honey. Oh, and did I forget to mention? Make a fast getaway. I guess when you spend your childhood in backroom poker games, hustling comes as naturally as riding a bike. You never forget how. I need a condom. Excuse me? A condom? A prophylactic? It's a form of birth control. Kind of like the dress you're holding up. I don't have any condoms. Oh my god, please. You and Leo must be doing it by now. You've been together forever. You and I clearly have a different definition of the word forever. And very different ideas about sex, I would imagine. Okay, sex is not an idea. It's something you do when you like someone. No, it's something you do when you're attracted to someone. Same thing. Attraction and love are not the same. Even you're not that stupid. And you're not that naive. You don't need to be in love to have sex. You just need a condom. So do you have one or not? I really don't get you. Most girls have sex too soon because they're insecure, but you, you seem to have the opposite problem. Too much self-esteem. Well, awesomeness is my cross to bear. So then what are you trying to prove so desperately with Hunter? Or are you afraid that if you wait too long, he'll realize how horrible you truly are and never want to have sex with you? Oh. I'm not the one who's desperate. Have you seen yourself with Leo? What is that supposed to mean? Whenever he's around, you're always trying to hide your weird rexiness, trying to pass off as normal. <laughs> Newsflash. A normal teenager would be doing it by now. Yeah, well, a real relationship is about getting to know someone on a level deeper than sex. Real relationships? You mean the kind where you bare your soul to the other person and let them see the real you? Go ahead, slut shame me all you want. But I'm not the one lying to my so-called boyfriend on a daily basis. How real can your relationship be if it's based on a lie? So, your kids are in college. Wow, that's great. It's a lot of freedom. Oh, yeah. My wife and I, well, my first wife. <laughs> Young. Oh, yeah, so how, how many wives do you have, or have you had, unless you're still married? What was it? Uh, nothing. Hey. Excuse me. Brittany. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Are you drinking? Um, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty careless when you're carrying our baby. You, you what? His baby. I'm a surrogate. That's right. Mm, she, yes. yes. Uh, he's gay. Oh. Yes. Oh. He and his partner, Alan, were waiting on an adoption to go through last year, and it fell through at the last minute, and their story was just so heartbreaking, I couldn't say no. Especially since Alan and I used to be college sweethearts. Alan is bi. He's a bisexual. Okay, um... I'm, I'm gonna let you two guys work this out. Um, yeah, nice meeting you. You too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That that story was incredible. No. Thank you for saving me. No, you did the heavy lifting. Oh. I'm glad I could help. I was a fan. <laughs> hey, Doc. Usual. Uh, yes. Mm. And whatever she's having. Thank you. No problem. Wait, what? What I found. Hold this. Are you supposed to have this? What's it? Do me. You want me to pierce your belly button? Uh-huh. On three. One. Two. No way. Mm. Oh, three. This is insane. Oh. Oh. Thanks for the assist. Wait. Are you really a virgin? Come on now, baby doll. Why would I lie about something so embarrassing? So, if we have sex right now, this is potentially something you're going to remember for the rest of your life. 
Well, I'm already going to remember this for the rest of my life. Good answer. Mission accomplished. Do seriously. Hello, friends. Wait a minute. I only see eight pills here. That's all I can get. Eight pills, eight minutes. All I need is five minutes. Not a selling point. You did good. Come sit. They say three's company. Actually, I have no idea what that means. Play me something. Um, I thought the deal was I would get to play for your manager. Yeah, you will, but you gotta get through me first. Yo, man, this better be the shortest song in the world. This is the life we live, you know, living on a shoestring. This is the fight we're in, you know, dancing a boring. It's all inside a breath, so let's not go wasting it. Cause that's just one life we get, you know, you know, no, no. Oh, now it's forever. No book? No book? Now it's forever. What's all this? We haven't had the best luck, you and me, you know? Supply closets, strip joints, one truly terrible homecoming dance. So uh, I decided to start at the very beginning. I see. So you're H.G. Wells, and this is some sort of time machine? Exactly. And tonight, Emma, on this roof, you and I are going to have the first date we should have had, you know, if we met out there. Oh, really? Really. And on our first date, because I'm both a big spender and a gentleman, I would have taken you to the best restaurant in Bakersfield, which isn't saying much, I know, but uh, you get the drift. White tablecloths, shrimp cocktails, all that. Or shrimp pot thai from the place next door to the hospital. Well, you know, I had to improvise a bit. I like it. It's like when the Peanuts tried to have Thanksgiving. Well, it's not exactly the effect I was going for, but I'll take it. So just out of curiosity, hmm. how did we meet? Out there, I mean. Forensics, speech and debate, not the dead body kind. We had this tournament at this snotty girl's school where you were a scholarship student, obviously. Uh, what was that place called again? Marlboro. I didn't know you did speech and debate. Well, see, this is exactly what first dates are for, learning incredibly boring things about each other. And what happened? I got lost. I right, was looking for the bathroom, and uh, there you were sitting by yourself in the library. So, did you win the tournament? No, no, but, uh, I met you, so I don't care. Do you smell smoke? Oh my God, Leo, your leg! I know love can sometimes be described as burning, but there's nothing romantic about this moment. Honestly, if that is what online dating is like, I don't think I'm ready. No, no <laughs> one ever is. It's true. Yeah. But what's the alternative? Just dying alone. Dark. I'm sorry, oh. that was dark. You should not be coming to me for advice yeah. right now. According to my ex-girlfriend, I'm childish. I'm immature. I'm selfish. Selfish. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a doctor who helps sick children. Uh, you're amazing. I'm sure you've made some mistakes. We all do. <laughs> but you're a good person, Dr. McAndrew, I can tell. No, no, I'm no, sorry. Apologize. No, I'm no, sorry. no, do not apologize. No. <sighs> oh, we can't. No, yeah. Of course. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Where you been? I've searched high and low, but no condoms. 
No problem. Turns out STIs are on the rise in the geriatric ward. They have a huge container of them at the nurse's station. They're basically giving them away like mints at a Chinese restaurant. Not exactly the reaction I expected. Look, I feel like I have to admit something to you. I've seen this movie. You've got some terrible disease, right? No way, that's me. <laughs> Either way, we're totally screwed here. Yeah, we are. But the truth is, I've never been in a relationship that's lasted more than three days. And that's not because I jump into bed too quickly. Who said that? It's personally because I think I get bored. I gotta admit something, too. I don't actually know what day we're on or how long this is gonna last. All we have is now, this moment. Nothing else is guaranteed. Yeah, but isn't that true for everyone? What, now you're, like, mad? Oh, you're right. I never thought about it that way. So maybe we should just be like the mindless masses and see some other day, like tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've never waited before, so what's that like? Just a bunch of lame handling? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my God, you're burning up. No, no, I'm just, I'm just a little warm. Are you sure? Hunter! 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 Help! Nurse! Someone help! So don't be afraid. It's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. So, what's the verdict? You're good. You're really good. <laughs> but I can't introduce you to my manager. Seriously? Why not? Do you know how many dates I have to cancel to be here? My manager's losing patience with me. New blood like you come in and I'm out for sure. You're a huge star. You're actually afraid that they're gonna like me more than you? No, I know they'll like you more than me. You have real talent. You should never doubt that. And who knows, you know, maybe one day I'll see you at the VMAs or something. You know, if you, if you don't like die or something. <laughs> I'd say at this point, my chances are about as good as yours. Wait, hey. Hold on. Here. For the pills. That wasn't our deal. I don't want your money. Well, money's all I have, so take it or leave it. Must be bad. They wouldn't have called his parents in if this wasn't bad. Calm down, Karen. He's gonna be okay, though, right? Just tell me that he's gonna be okay. People with liver failure have an increased risk of infection. That's all I can tell you. Now, it's late. Go back to your room and go to bed. What? You need your rest, No, too. I'm staying here so I can see everything. I said it's late, and you're obviously upset. Oh, is this bad for my heart? No. In this case, it's a sign that it's functioning normally. Do you remember what I told you this morning? That I shouldn't have sex because I'll have a heart attack and die. No. I said you were going to get hurt. My job is to protect your heart, Kara. In every possible way. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, I, I, um, uh, how do you want to play this? You know, I'm at work. Uh, well, I, I don't know, you know, I was, uh, was hoping that, you know, we could keep this between us. I mean, this... <laughs> well, I mean, sure, like, you know, at first, but, uh, people are gonna figure it out. They're gonna be able to tell that we're, you know, together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Uh, I was hoping maybe this is like more of a uh, like a one time thing, you know. Yeah, you know, like you you, you go out, you have, you have fun, you, you know, you let some steam off. No, I, I mean, no, I don't. Well, you did. You... No, uh, Brittany, I mean. I, that's came out so wrong. I'm so sorry for saying, like, okay, you're mad. Uh, I understand that you're mad. It doesn't have to be like this, Brittany. This is like, I mean, geez, haven't you ever had a one-night stand before? Oh. So I guess that explains the black eye. As for the black in the leg... I wanted to stop by and give you this. It's the only thing I managed to save from last night's conflagration. Who needs a present when you've got someone who knows how to use the word conflagration? I know, and it's my way of saying I'm in. And we'll get through this, you know, whatever happens. Chocolates? You don't like chocolate? You do understand that I'm anorexic, right? I mean, do you, do you get that on any level? Get what? Hang on, I don't understand. I'm not gonna eat a box of freaking chocolate, Leo. I thought you were better. They wouldn't be sending you home I'm if... not better. Okay, I'm not better. And I keep waiting for someone to figure that out. And they don't. I mean, of course they don't. Because as long as I say the right thing and I act the right way, they're happy. Because that means that they cured me, right? It's just like when I eat in front of you. You get so proud, like you're some type of hero, like you fixed oh, me or something. My God, Emma, I never wanted to fix you. I just... You wanted me to be normal. I know, but I'm not, and I'm never gonna be. Don't say that, Emma. I know you, and this no, you is... don't. I keep thinking that you do, Leo, but you don't. You never have, and you never will. The camp's just gone, Leo. Congratulations. You're going home. And when you do, you can just... Forget all about me and pretend like this never happened. Let me just say, the only reason we're here in the first place is because you're such a killer athlete. I didn't see it at first, because you were slacking off, missing appointments. I know. Uh, I didn't have the best attitude at first. But I've been playing sports my whole life, and I know that if I apply the same discipline to this, everything will just get easier. That's true. And you're doing great. Everyone's been amazed by the progress and the dedication, but the powers that be are thinking at least one more week, possibly two. What? I'm sorry, Leo. I tried. Here's another choice that might not be the best. Taking drug money from a pop star. But it helps Jordy where he's going. I'm not judging. Oh my God, what happened? Uh, it was a uh, bar fight. That doesn't sound like you. Doesn't it? Immature, irresponsible, sophomoric. I mean, these are just a, a few of the gems that you dropped yesterday. Mm, I never said sophomoric. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, yeah. Sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yesterday. 
I'm sorry for everything. It doesn't matter who broke up with who. The point is, is that you were right to move on. And you were right. I still think about you. Back in Africa, I was certain about Sam, and now I don't know. And I'm not gonna say anything else because that's all I'm sure of. I'm just very confused. You switching rooms? Look, I know you're mad at me. I just came to say that you were wrong. I'm not getting out. Apparently, I need more time. But it's good. It means we can work this out. You know, we'll still be in here together. Actually, no. I had my meeting with Dr. Samuels, and she said that I could go. My dad's here now. He's filling out paperwork. They released you? They did. Emma, you can't go. You're still sick. You can't just leave. But I am. Well, that's done. Uh, you all packed up? Yes. Dad, this is Leo. Pleased to meet you. Leo, is it? What if I said I would break so, um, I'll get this one, sweetie. What if I said I had that made me me? I see you, Emma. I know you. I, I know you're strong enough to do this. You just gotta, you gotta tell somebody the truth, please. Maybe you can stop before. You coming, sweetie? I'll be right there. All right. Maybe you can see that I just may be too crazy to love. If I told you solitude fits me like a glove, would you let me out? It was nice to meet you. you 